Behind me are 100 sets of twins. And they're gonna compete for $250,000. Everyone, go to your queue. Out of these 100 pairs of identical twins, only one is walking away with this quarter of a million dollars. And if either twin crosses the red line, they'll both be eliminated. Let's find out which pair of you is the best set of twins and wins the 250 grand. I have never, never been, been around this many sets of twins before. Everyone looks so similar, it's crazy. In school, did you ever go to class for him? I took a test for him. <laughs> really? I'm putting that in. <laughs> right there, the pot of money. I could get used to that view. We got this, we got this. Well, little do they know, this video is going to put their bond as twins to the test. Shut up. I feel sick to my stomach. I'm so sorry, but I'm not gonna forgive you for that. I don't trust you. Attention everybody, every challenge in this video is designed so that you and your twin must work together to pass. In the first challenge, this room is going to flash a series of colors. You and your twin must work together to memorize the order of the colors and enter them on your tablet. If you enter them correctly, you stay in. If you enter the colors incorrectly, you're eliminated. Oh gosh, I'm low-key scared. I'm gonna start you off easy. For the first round, the pattern is six colors. the order you saw them into your tablet. Blue, yellow, green, yellow, blue, blue. That's interesting, is some cubes are actually sharing information with each other. I think we got it. Did you get it? Walk it in. If it's wrong, it's wrong, Yeah, I love you, love you too. Three pairs of twins entered the sequence incorrectly. Light their cubes red. <laughs> and fun fact, the three pairs that got eliminated were all right beside each other. Everyone cheer them on as they leave. We salute you! This next sequence is 15 colors. And if you think this is hard, we're just getting started. This is getting to be too much. We kept adding more and more colors to the pattern every round. Let me see if I can remember. Blue? Yellow? Green? Yeah, I already forgot it. Oh, this is, this is, this is bad. Let's just see who got eliminated. in our ages one through 100 video. And then in this video, you place 93rd. I messed it up. My heart is absolutely racing right now. And yeah, 15 colors might be pretty hard, but not even close to the 27 colors we got to later. Did it end on green? No, it ended on yellow. It ended on yellow. You completely messed up. You're not listening. Why would I listen to you? Help, help me, help me. Push me. Wait, it wasn't right. All right, everyone has voted. And in our final round, 12 pairs of twins were eliminated. Everyone that was eliminated, we gave each pair of twins a thousand dollars, and that concludes challenge number one. Seventy-two pairs of you now remain. Winners! Mr. Beast. This is the Olympics, and that's my gold medal. I need to pay off my student debt. Calling it. Dirty, Dirty Twins. Talk to him, talk to him. And like always, we destroyed all of the eliminated players' cubes. Oh! That's how you do it right there. Are you all ready for challenge two? Bring out the second challenge. Pay very close attention. This is where things get interesting. Half of you are going to be eliminated in this challenge. Yes, it's going to be cutthroat. Wow. Everyone, pull the curtain off of the blocks. Feastables. Okay, Feastables cubes is stacking something. One of you in your cube is gonna put on a blindfold. The other is gonna hold this tray. The twin who's wearing the blindfold has to stack all 10 cubes on the tray. The twin holding the tray will then have to move the completed tower down on the podium. But if you drop even one of the cubes, I don't got it. You and your twin are both eliminated. Do you want to hold it or stack? I'll hold it. I'll stack. Can you stack. Half of us are going home. And last thing I need to mention, you'll be competing against your neighbor, and only one set of twins will be moving on. No. No. <laughs> Wait, it's either one of us. Ah! Right. I'm sick. We'll start with this section of cubes. Three, two, one, begin. Reach out, reach out, reach out. Go to the left. Go to the left. Get to stacking. Down. There you go. Because the twin who's blindfolded will be doing all of the stacking, this game completely relies on your communication as twins. Your opponents already have four stacked. 
Oh god. Gentle, bring it down slowly. Perfect. Perfect. Sure. It's perfect. Oh no. You guys need to hurry. Bro, hey, your opponent's about to stack their final two cubes. Where? High, way high, way high. No, no, no. Oh. Luke, I need you to hold. I can't really help you. But completing the tower of 10 cubes is only the beginning. The hardest part is moving the finished tower to the podium. They're, they're wobbling a lot. This is the most important moment of his life. Oh, oh they dropped it. You guys won. Yeah! And remember, if the tower somehow falls and touches the twin holding the cubes, that also counts as a fall, and both of you are eliminated. Oh. But with some of the other twins, we saw a different strategy. Some chose to not even touch their cubes or attempt their tower and bet it all on their opponent's tower falling. They're gonna drop it. They're gonna drop it. How many blocks are they? Have they even got one? No. Are they just gonna sit there? Yeah, they're gonna sit there. They're corner camping. But just waiting for their opponent to fail wasn't the only tactic we saw. <laughs> this is an interesting strategy. Get him, girl, go! <laughs> okay. They're trying to distract their opponents and make their tower fall over. You're going down! Well, you're gonna lose your voice. Your voice is going down. But they're being so loud that the twins all the way across the room can even hear them. What's their strategy? I don't even know. Is yelling a strategy? I don't know what you have to do to stay in, but do not lose to them. What is happening? <laughs> all right, 10 minutes left for this round. Whichever team has the most blocks when it hits zero. Whoever gets the most blocks, come on. Okay. When the Collins twins realized they were running out of time, they quickly began stacking, and they were able to tie it up at five cubes in each tower. How many are they at? They at five. Jake, it's shaking a lot. I think we buzzer beat this thing. Less than 20 seconds left for this round. Wait, I can grab another block. Okay, Do we need another block? Straight. Are you going to go for the win? Yeah, we are. Hurry, hurry. Straight. straight. To the left. All right, come, come here. Drop it six inches. It touched his nose. He actually touched it. Oh my god, you guys won! Yes! Ah! No! No, no way! You have to drag us out by our hair! But these games were only getting more intense as the challenge went on. Oh no! Just go. Oh, oh it fell. Oh. Oh. oh no! During this challenge, we got to see which team had the strongest twin telepathy. Right, come that. Yeah, right here. Brutus <laughs> directed him with his head as if he could see him. <laughs> it's a twin thing. It's a twin thing. But the way some of these other pairs were communicating, you would hardly believe that they're twins. No, keep it still. Keep it still. Lift it up. You're oh, he almost hit your head. Bro, for twins, we are not coordinated, bro. And in our final round, we had two games that went down to the very last second. Two, one, hands off. Uh, oh. Tower fell. Two, one. Ah! fell over. You guys won. Yeah. They are now one step closer to a quarter of a million dollars. And as promised, half of you were eliminated in that challenge. We're wheeling some bunk beds. Get some sleep, because the challenges tomorrow will be way harder. That last challenge was like so difficult. The Morris is we've kind of worked together. We've had a really strong alliance. So right now it's the two of us left and we're all in it together. What do you think? How does it feel? It feels like heaven. Alright. Good night. Final 36, baby! Well. And after the bloodbath of the first day, the twins were a lot more optimistic than I thought they'd be. We're gonna win this challenge 100,000%. We're ready, we're locked in. Good morning, everybody! Guards, bring out the next challenge! I want you to remove the black cloth on the podium we put outside your queue. <gasps> this next game is going to test your greed. As you can see, each of you has $5,000 in front of you. It's completely up to you whether or not you take the money. And if you do take it, there is a 50-50 chance you'll be randomly selected to be eliminated. But if you don't take it, you are guaranteed to move on. We're gonna throw up a 10 minute timer safe and move on or gamble 250 grand for five the choice is completely yours why don't we just take the money five grand isn't enough for us to trust our chances what you doing well this is guaranteed this is guaranteed but you might get eliminated it's not much it's a free five grand i know but we decided we want to trust the twin tuition we came here to win big bucks the stress from this decision was creating tension between some of the twins i say we leave the money you get too much no 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 don't i'm trying to talk to you i want to walk away with something like i need the money no, that 
is what our eyes are on, not that. You guys officially have five thousand dollars. Congrats! You don't care about this five grand? Yeah. No. We just want to win the Mr. Beast challenge yeah. because we want bragging yeah. rights. Remember this face, bay, bay, bad beast garbage. And in the final moments, the last few twins scrambled to make their decision. Take the money, bro. All right, put that on my shoulder, boy. I always like to ask myself, what would Jimmy do? And I think that Jimmy would take the money and say, nah. Because eight contestants have taken the money, that means we will be randomly eliminating four of them right now. And to ensure it's random, we're picking their names out of this machine. Grab a random name. And the first elimination is Alan. We got bread though. He came me out. Sure. Alan Twins, come up to the stage. You can pull the next name. The next elimination is Moore. I agree, got the best of it. And once again, the eliminated twins will be pulling the next name. And the next set of twins to go are the Miller twins. If we didn't take it, we'd still be in the queue for 250. That's life changing money for us. So I 100% regret it. And the final set of twins eliminated the D'Angelo twins are our final elimination. You got a guaranteed 5K. I felt like it was the best choice to make. Just gotta take what you can get. Bye guys, good luck. And with that, challenge four is over. <laughs> I'm glad I did take it. So far in this video, it's been you and your twins deciding your fate. But for this next challenge, you all as a group will decide if people go or people stay. Two buttons are gonna pop up on your tablet. If you press the green button, you're voting to end the challenge. And if all of you press green, this challenge is over. If you press the red button, you can vote someone out. Whoever gets the most votes will be eliminated. Or nobody has to go home. If you all work together and vote green. You have five minutes to make a decision. Personally, I find it very rude to vote people out. Being a twin is all about teamwork. Green! Vote green! But like I said, if they all voted green, they would all move on. But since the Collins twins had made such a name for themselves, you're going down! It didn't seem like that was going to happen. Hey boys, I think we know what to do. Stacy and Tracy. Taking justice into our own hands. Word spread quickly, and after just a few twins voted red, it started a chain reaction, which made it clear that someone was going home. Stacy and Tracy. Stacy and Tracy. Tracy, Stacy. Who's with us right here? Who has personality? Who works hard? Who's won every challenge? Time is up. You guys think everyone hit green? No. Wow. Literally, no one thinks that. Okay. Only two pairs of twins receive votes, and the Haley twins received one vote. Bye, and the Collins twins received 26 votes. Oh my, oh my god. god. That's a lot of votes for Collins. We are scared. Wait, we can't yeah. fight for us. The witch is dead. Oh my god, thank y'all. We had a good time. I've never seen this many people work together on anything. It's a lot quieter without them now. And now that the common enemy had been obliterated, one and done, one and done, everyone decided to vote green. Timer has hit zero. Everybody hit the green button. Yeah! I'm gonna go set up the next challenge. That was wild. We all could have turned on each other. I'd rather people go out on their own terms. Yeah, instead of people just choosing who goes out. 31 sets of twins remain. But we're about to give you your hardest challenge yet. And by the end of it, we will be in the top 10 sets of twins. Oh God. Randomly over the next few hours, the lights in this room will turn red like this. And when that happens, the first pair of twins to tap the button on their tablet is safe and moves on. But anyone else who attempted to press the button and wasn't first will be eliminated. We're doing this 10 times and it's up to you to decide which round you press the button. Ideally, all 30 of you don't try to press the button the first time. Because the more people who attempt each round, the worse your chances are. You're gonna go second. I wanna make that point clear to everyone in here. What are you guys doing? First? I'm going on one, baby. I think most people are gonna go off the bat. I have a pretty good reaction time. What's the strategy here? We're going for alarm number two. We're gonna like announce it to everyone. If you don't wanna get eliminated, don't go to. But not everyone was confident with going early. I will say you're very far away from pressing a button. Going first is never the answer. Okay. All right, everybody. The challenge has officially started. Good luck. The moment it turns red, just... Dude, I'm telling you right now, I got this in the bag. As soon as that light dims, boom. Should I yell red? Could you literally happen any second? Oh, God, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. And that was the first one. Yeah, baby! Oh my god. It looks like four pairs of you attempted round one. Let's see who tapped the button first and which three pairs of you are going home. We don't usually hold hands like that. I know, we don't usually hold hands. So you guys either just got eliminated yeah. or we won. Or are moving on to the top ten. <laughs> yeah. You pressed it? Yeah, man. A bunch of other people pressed it. We gotta see who actually pressed it first. We made it through four challenges. Whatever happens, we should be proud of ourselves. Reveal the results! But before the twins had even a minute to relax, oh, we got this in the bag. We decided to surprise them with another round. The alarm went off. Did it? Yes, it's red. And once again, only four pairs of you attempted round two. You did it? Yeah, I did it so fast. Reveal the result. And by less than a tenth of a second, hey. the Cliffords won round two. Let's get in. No. I'm so proud of y'all. Now we're watching y'all. Y'all gotta make it too. Okay, what? wish us luck. You did not win. You can step out. Hey guys. Two sets of twins have secured their spots in the top ten. How many of you are gonna go for the next one? Do you think we go here? Yeah. Maybe you just wait? Stop looking away. Maybe on the tenth press, there's only one of you. Focus. His fingers too far from the screen. You keep looking away, you I can tell you're daydreaming. For round three, three pairs of you press the button. Before we reveal the results, we're bringing all of you the world's best chocolate. Woo! We need to cheer you guys up. You seem way too nervous. Pizza! I love some chocolate. We love Feastable. Feastable. You want some chocolate? Uh, yeah. duh. The boys are currently handing everyone Feastable chocolate bars, aka the best chocolate on the planet. Feastables, baby! And I'm excited to announce we just launched our brand new Cookies and Cream Feastables bar. Cookies and Cream? It's my favorite. Cookies and Cream. Cookies and Cream! And to celebrate Halloween this year, Feastables is giving away $10,000 every single day for the next 30 days. Just buy Feastables at one of these retailers or others, scan the QR code on the back of the bar, and submit your receipt to enter. And on Halloween, Feastables is also going to give one person a million dollars. Just scan the QR code on the back of a bar on Halloween to find out how to enter. If you don't hand out Feastables at Halloween this year, clearly you hate your neighborhood. And now for the results of round three, which to be honest is pretty ironic. The Hershey twins are the winner! Oh my god. I'm not gonna forgive you for that. <laughs> 16 more of you to go, and there's only seven slots. Technically, your odds have improved by waiting, but there's still a lot of you left. Can you tell people we're going for four? You got this. I'll just do it. So scared, bro. I don't want to know if it turns red. <laughs> I felt really good about that. Round four's winner is the BD Twins. Let's go! I thought we had it. Oh, sorry, it didn't work out. No distractions. You got this dude. Round five is late. <laughs> you guys want to step out together? Brutal. Uh -huh. The Narvaez Twins. The Morris Twins. Seven sets of twins remain, but only three spots are left. I'm getting down right now, okay? Lock in 18 in a second. Is Fisher doing it? It's just us and Fisher. Just breathe. Oh. On other teams doing it. Who? It's the ones up there. Get off, get off. Dad just have your hands off right now. Mm, the boy. Yeah. You have yeah. two other competitors. Should I go ahead, Brent? Yeah, get ready. All right, they're back to lock it. Are the ones up top locked in? Let's go. Let's go. I did, I did it already. I was quick. You did it fast. And the winner of round eight is the Badget Twins. And after that, round nine's winner was the Dirting Twins. And round 10 was the Rosenbergs. And that concludes this challenge. Congratulations to making it to the top 10. So top 10, baby. Top 10, baby, let's go. Make sure you sleep well tonight because tomorrow, one pair of you is winning that quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> I'll see you then. We did it together. That's what we're taking off. We're locked in. We're ready to go. Tomorrow, I don't know what to expect. We're so psyched. Hey, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night top 10. Good morning, everybody. For this next challenge, we will be dwindling you down to the final five pairs of twins. 
Each pair of twins will be facing another pair of twins in a comically large game of bowling, each with 105 pins. We got this challenge in the bag, baby. And to make it even more interesting, the twin that is the bowler will be blindfolded. Mm, that changes things. And the other one will have to guide you where to bowl. I'm not worried about it. We're gonna beat whoever. Since you won the first round of the button game, <laughs> Smoke bio! We're gonna let you pick who you go up against. <laughs> Have fun strategizing. We don't go bowling a lot, but I think I should bowl. Are you guys good bowlers? Not really. I suck. Rosenbergs? They're like a bit older, they got glasses. They're probably great bowlers. We just gotta give it our all. And while they're strategizing, I wanna tell you about our brand new product, Lunchly, which pairs Feastables and Prime together in a better for you version of Lunchables. Lunchly comes in three flavors, Fiesta Nachos, turkey stackums, and the pizza. And inside each box is a miniature prime and a miniature Feastables. Let's go see what the twins think of them. How's it going? Ooh. You got pizza, turkey, nachos, whichever one you want. I'll get the pizza. The nachos look so good. And that is real cheese. Ooh, these are fire. Yummy, delicious. Better than Lunchables. Mm -hmm. You guys hungry? Oh yeah. Each meal comes with a tiny Feastables bar. Their last name's Hershey's. Mom, well, that might be some of the best chocolate I've ever had, and that's saying something because we're Hershey's. And Lunchly is only around $5. I can't wait to see what you guys think. And up first, the Sansun twins. Am I the bowler or are you the bowler? I don't care. I'll do it. You can step out. Promise. Yes, I promise you will not be eliminated. Follow me over here. Okay. How's it feel to be outside the cube? This is so, so weird. weird. So this is your bowling lane, and now you must pick one other cube to go up against. Oh, this is crazy. Who you face is up to you. Pick us, just pick us. You won't. I'm not picking no, you. Sorry. No. You gotta remember, it's blindfolded bullying. So it's not all about strength, it's also about strategy. Okay, we're gonna pick the Hershey twins. All right, let's go. Whichever pair of twins knocks down the most pins with three bulls will move on. The other pair will be eliminated. Okay, ready? Go this way. Three, two, one, yeah, go. go. Good, 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 good. Wow. Oh my gosh. That was really bad. Okay, what do you want me to do? Not that much force for both of them. Another one of us put enough on that first one. Blindfold up. Let's do round two. Yes, just like Three, that. Three, two, one, Straight, you got go. It. Oh. I don't even know. I'm stressing out right now. The Hershey's twins knocked down 48 pins, and the Sansa twins knocked down 37. They are 11 behind with one bowl remaining. Get mad. Are you mad? Yes. Act like it. $250,000 on the line. Let's see if they clutch up. Three, two, one, go. Great job. Oh my God. Great job. Oh, whoa, I actually have no idea who won now. <laughs> my God. The Hershey's messed up big time. That might have been the comeback of the century. The Hershey twins knocked down 55 pins. The Sansa twins knocked down 79 and are moving on. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Who do you want to go next? Pick us, pick us. We're gonna pick the BD twins. All right, you two can head back to your cubes. Thank you. Who do you think you want to go against? I think those two kids up there. All right, we'll pick them. Narvez twins, I'm coming to get you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Godspeed. Godspeed. Twins, are you ready? Yes. Yep. Three. Two, one, go! Let's go. Oh, wow. I will take it. All right, blindfold up, go! Oh, oh that might have been a comeback. Y'all chose us. Y'all chose us. I mean, that's a lot of pens down, yeah. $250,000 on the line. Get your twins in position. Three, two, one, Go! The last bowls. Oh my gosh. No! 89 pins knocked down to 74. I'm sorry, gentlemen. GG, boys. Who you want to go next? These guys. Knowing that only five pairs of twins were moving on, they all chose their opponents carefully. I think we can go with the Barrett's. Oh my gosh. The blindfolds are on. Go! Right down the memory. Oh! Who's next? Lemus. Lemus. All right. The Clippers. Next to your cue. Three, two, one, go. 
It was becoming clear who was the biggest threat in this challenge. I used to be in a league. I'm friends with a lot of people who are in a league. Bowling is a strength. Do you guys think you're a fierce competitor? I'm not too worried. And the final two sets of twins. Come on down. Let's see which one will move on. All right, gentlemen, put your blindfolds on. $250,000 on the line. I'm so glad we didn't have to go against either of them. Three, two, one, go. Dude, those are both very good. Hey, ball. Okay, okay. Those are our best ones yet. You can definitely tell they both have experience. It is neck and neck. This had to be the matchup. Oh, Let's yeah. see if that changes. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the ricochet. Whoa, I don't know. Did they barely have any pins left? The last bowl of the challenge. One of these twins are about to go home and one's going to the top five. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. They might have made a comeback. That's a good ball, though. That's the best ball you could have had there. I think that's good enough. Oh, my God. Wow, this is going to be a close game. And the final tally is 82 pins knocked down to 86. Yes! Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Congrats on making it to the final five. We have the betting twins. Hey, do what you got to do, right? Yeah, top five, baby. The Clifford twins. Let's go. The Dirty twins. We're just freaking out. The Samsung twins. <laughs> and the Morris twins. The bowling champ right here. That will be going head to head in one final challenge for this quarter of a million dollars. Good luck to everybody. You ready for the final challenge? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A little bit of nerves, but I mean, we're happy we made it this far. We're, oh, we're, we're stoked. Up. So if you won, what are you going to spend the money on? We're going to go to Japan. Japan and school. We talked about investing. Find my parents in the house. Really? But probably not. I'm going to put it like on our band, and you're going to make us rich, famous, famous rock, rock stars. stars. Oh, really? Yeah. My parents, I mean, they have three kids in college, and they're trying to help us through, so it would mean the world if we could help them out. And then I'll probably buy a new fishing rod. Uh-huh. Good luck in this next Thank challenge. You. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, Jimmy. At the start of this challenge, we had 100 cubes. And now we are down to five. Congrats on making it this far. But up to this point, we've still not determined who the best set of twins is. So for the grand finale, you may exit your cubes and come down here. The final challenge will be right here in the middle. This is terrifying. I'm excited for any of you guys to win this. Bring out the podium. Oh my God. What? This is so scary. If you've seen our 50 YouTubers video, this probably looks a little familiar. At the beginning of each round, everyone will start off blindfolded. Meanwhile, I will be shuffling these five briefcases. Now the left side of you may take off your blindfold. Which briefcase do you want? Can I just pick it up? Yeah, just pick it up, put it on your podium. Four of these briefcases are empty, but one of them holds the check for the grand prize of a quarter of a million dollars. All five of them have now looked inside their briefcase and only they know what's in there. The players without briefcases will cast a vote to eliminate one set of twins from the game. The contestants with the most votes must reveal what's inside their briefcase. And if their case is empty, they're eliminated. But if their case has a check for 250 grand inside, they'll never believe this, but that pair of twins wins the grand prize of $250,000. If twin telepathy was a thing, now would be the time to use it. Throw up a 10 minute timer. Everyone decide who you're voting for. Hey, Morris, at the end, do you have it? I might. He's shaking a little. I don't think he has it. Do you think you have a good understanding of what your brother's thinking? Uh, I think so. Does anyone want to admit they have the 250 grand? Well, so you're saying you have it? I have it, yeah. That's bold. That's some BD stuff right there. I don't know why he would just say he has the money, though. Yeah, that's so sus. Who are you voting for? Are you voting for your brother? I don't know. Toss me the vote. Toss me the vote. How well can you read your counterpart? You guys grew up together. Oh, vote for me. Stop. You're just stop stop line because you're freaking me out. 45 seconds. I think we should vote them out because I don't think they have it. I don't think he has it either. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> what are they doing? We're going to have to start writing soon. I'm just writing who I'm confident for. Five, four, 
three, two, one. All right, Carl, gather their votes. Feel good about this? I don't know. <laughs> the first vote was for Clifford. Wow. The second vote was Morris. The third vote was Sansone. Whoa, we have one vote for three separate pairs of twins. The fourth vote was for Beatty. The fifth and final vote is Beatty, which means they received two and will be opening their briefcase. Oh my god. No way. I have it. No. It's empty! Wait, did you vote for him? I voted for him. You voted for your own brother! The BD twin with the briefcase almost executed the perfect bluff. That is, until his own brother couldn't even read his poker face. Could've just kept him on shot. <laughs> Don't worry though, boys. You're not leaving empty-handed. Appreciate you, man. Hey, good luck. Bye, guys. And with that, I need all of you to put on the blindfolds, and we're going to reshuffle the briefcase. Now, the opposite side will be picking briefcases this go-around. Joe, watch people's body language as they open it. Yeah. Would you like briefcase number one, two, three, or four? Uh, three. All right, third briefcase. Oh, give me two. I'll put it on your podium. How about you, one or two? Uh, one. Here you go, Morris, that leaves you with the final briefcase. Now, only the people with the briefcase may remove their blindfolds. Look at what's inside your briefcase. Only they know what's in there. All right, I need all of you to close it now. You may take off your blindfolds. Start the 10 minute timer. Let's see how this goes. Do you have it? I might have it. Do you have it? I don't have the money now. What about y'all down there? Don't have it. So nobody here has it. That's just factually not true. Somebody has it. I don't think the sandstones have it. I agree with you. I feel like you're all being sus, so I can't really. Well, duh. I, I think the Morrises have it, and I already placed my vote on who I want to get rid of. I think Clippers have the money. If you're making a decision now, that means y'all have the money. That's what you think, bro. Like, I'm uh, voting for Morris. I think Morris has the money. I'm telling you, they've got the money, bro. I'm sorry. I love you all. Three. Two, one, time is up. Oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh. The first vote is for Morris. The second vote is also for Morris. I'm so nervous. Did you listen to me? Did you listen to me? The third vote is for Dirting. If Dirting gets another vote, it's a tie. If not, the Morris twins will be opening their briefcase. The final vote is dirty. We have a tie. Oh. You guys have three minutes to decide. The four of you recast votes, either for Dirty or Morris, to break the tie. Wait, so who should I vote for? He looks so stressed Is out. he fake stressing? Dude, Morris's have the money. Vote dirty if you want to continue, is what I'm saying. Don't put my name down. You see, like, they're trying to, like, save yourself what now. That's what I'm saying. Just right. listen to the boy. Like, Chris, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Ten seconds. If you want to make it to the top three, just put their name down. Trust Five, me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Four. Or maybe they're lying. Three. Trust me, bro. Two, trust me. One. Pins down. I hate to do it, bro. Let's tally these votes. Morris or Dirty, one of you is opening your briefcase. Our first vote is for Dirty. Our second vote is also for Dirty. The third vote is for Dirty. The fourth vote, which is now irrelevant, is also Dirty. Four? All four of them voted for the Dirting Twins. Bro. Reveal what is in your briefcase. Fourth place, baby! Oh, no. Fourth place! Told you. Oh my god. You also are going home with $10,000. Oh, that's awesome. There you go. And now that all of you at home know how this game works, for this next round, we're not even gonna reveal who has the money. Do you want one, two, or three? I'll do two. I'll do one. Carl will give Morris the last one. The three of you with briefcases, take your blindfolds off. Look inside your briefcase. All right, close them. You guys may take off your blindfolds. Start the timer. Oh, I think I have an idea of who has it. And who's that? Wait, you think they have it? Again. What if you had it, though? She looks nervous, so that's all, that's I mean, my I've thought. been nervous. I'm telling you, they got that. So then what, you want to be voted out? <laughs> you saying they have the money means their only options to vote for you. Do you have the money? Do you want to come look? Don't. 250000 dollars on the line. You got 47 seconds. One of you is gonna be walking away with the money. Okay, who do you think? 
I feel like Clifford has the money. Clifford, you guys have been right in the past two. You make up your mind, I'll vote for whoever. I got the suitcase, bro. I can't help everyone vote every round. Like, <laughs> 15 seconds. I'd start writing. Give me something. I know I'm done. Okay. She knows what she's doing. Do you have it in your suitcase? Yeah or no? I might have it in my suitcase. He's lying. So how am I lying? I don't know. I don't I might know. Have I don't it know. In my suitcase. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. The first vote is for Morris. The second vote. Whoa is also Morris. We don't even need to see what the third one is. Bring the table on over. Good luck, guys. All right, Morris's, it all comes down to this moment. So you do not know what's inside of here. All right. You want to show them. If it's empty, they lose. And the game continues until there's a winner. But if it has $250,000, it's theirs. What are you guys gonna spend the money on? It's going to our family. I mean, they work so hard for us. I couldn't be happier. Pull it apart. That is your $125,000, and that is his 125 grand. Dude, congrats. Oh, dude, I can't move. <laughs>